hello fashion lovers welcome to the channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful jumpsuit for a kid it's actually a cut together jumpsuit so we won't be needing any half cut and it's so easy to make you don't really need much to make this jumpsuit so without further ado let's get started with the tutorial to make this jumpsuit i'm going to be drafting it on my pattern paper first before transferring it to the main fabric and the measurements I'm going to be needing to make this jumpsuit is the length of the jumpsuit, the chest circumference, the shoulder circumference, the hip circumference, and the hip length. So at the top of my pattern paper, I'm going to be marking out one inch. So this one inch is going to serve this one inch I'm marking out is going to serve as a channel where I'm going to pass in the elastic. Remember, there's an elastic on the chest area. So this one inch I marked out is going to serve as a channel where my elastic is going to pass through. So after marking out this chest line, from this chest then I'm going to start placing the vertical measurement so remember this is an off shoulder jumpsuit so I'm just going to take out two inches from the jumpsuit length so remember I'm making this jumpsuit for a kid so I don't want the off shoulder to be so off but if you're making this for yourself you can go ahead and take out the normal measurement you usually take out when making your off shoulder because this method can work for children and adults so the next thing I'm going to do from this point, I'm going to start taking my vertical measurement. So after my nursing two inches from this point, so the next point I'm going to take is the hip length. The hip length is at 20 inches. So I'm not going to mark out the waist length because this is a cut together jumpsuit. So I just need my hip length and the jumpsuit length so this jumpsuit I'm making is for a child of about seven years so a child with using this measurement a child of eight nine and ten can wear this with this measurement I'm using because it's going to be very free and the jumpsuit length I'm using for this is 33 inches so I'll just go ahead and add two inches for the folding allowance. So I'm going to mark 35 inches. So after placing the vertical measurement, I'm going to be using the hip measurement, that's the hip circumference, which is the largest part of this measurement. I'm going to be using it for almost everything I'm doing on this jumpsuit. So the hip measurement for this child is 33 inches. So 33 inches divided by 4 is 8 and a quarter. So I'm going to mark 8 and a quarter and I'll be adding extra 3 inches for ease. So whatever I have here, I have 11 and a quarter. I'm going to bring this 11 and a quarter. I'm going to mark it on the chest line. So remember there's an extension here so i'm going to extend it to this point too so and I'll, I'll come back to the jumpsuit length and mark the same thing so i'm using the hip measurement because it's the largest part i know this is a very free jumpsuit so i'm just going to connect the points together after connecting the points together on the chest line I'm just going to go in by two inches I'll go in by two inches and I'm going to extend this after going in by two inches from this point from this line remember this is going in so I'm taking all my vertical measurements from this line. So from this line, I'm going to come down by 5 inches for the armhole depth. So after 
marking out the armhole, I'm going to come back to the hip point. So from this hip point, I'll just come down by two and a half inches. So from that point, I'll be marking two inches for the crouch extension. So I'm just going to connect my crouch to my hip like this. I'm not going to make this so curvy. So from this point, I'm going to connect this back to the trouser leg. So this is basically all for this pattern. So I didn't mark out the waist area because this is a cut together jumpsuit. And remember this jumpsuit is going to have a belt for adjustment. So I'll just go and cut this out. It's as simple as this. So I'm, I'll be using exactly this to cut the front. But when I get to the back pattern of my jumpsuit, I'm going to make some alterations. So keep watching and see how I'm going to transfer this to my fabric. So to transfer my pattern to my fabric, I'm going to place my fabric on fold first. So go ahead and place your fabric on fold. And I'm going to place my pattern on my fabric. You know we've added all the allowance we are going to be needing for this. So I'm not adding any other allowance except at the back. So I'll go ahead and cut out the front exactly the way my pattern is. I'm not adding anything to the front. So after cutting out the front pattern, I'm just going to keep this aside. It's time to cut out the back parts of my jumpsuit. To cut out the back part of this jumpsuit, I'm going to place my pattern again on my fabric, still on fold, and I'm making sure I have about extra two inches i'm making sure my fabric is two inches wider than my pattern so the only alteration i'll be making here is at this crotch extension so i'm going to go out by two inches i'm just going to go out by two inches at this crotch extension and i'm going to connect this way and i'm going to connect back to the trouser leg so there's no much alteration here so just connect like so not so curvy please not so curvy you can see what i'm doing i'm not curving this too much so this is the only difference between the front and the back just that the back crouch is just longer than the front that is just all so i'll go ahead and cut this out the front and the back pattern of this jumpsuit so i'm going to take this to the sewing machine i'm going to be sewing this from this point to this point and i'm going to repeat the same thing on the back pattern so after joining it like this from the chest to the crotch extension so before joining the front and the back together i'm going to use my bias tape to fold in the armhole so you can go ahead and use your interlocking machine to do that but i'm just going to use my bias tape to finish the armhole i've gone ahead to turn in the armhole with my bias tape so you can also do this with your interlocking machine so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to bring the front and the back together right side facing right side so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine i'm going to be sewing the two sides by half an inch so after sewing the two sides so the next thing, I'm going to be bringing these two parts together where I have my crouch extension. So I'm going to bring these two parts together like this. And I'm going to sew 
like this by half an inch making sure these two points meet so i'm going to bring these two points together and i'm going to sew by half an inch so i've gone ahead to sew the legs of the jumpsuit so before coming to this part where i have the gathers on the shoulders i'll just go ahead and create a belt hole for this jumpsuit so i'll just use this little piece i'm going to create a belt hole for my jumpsuit i'm just going to make create a belt hole on the side from the waist point so i'm going to be fixing the belt hole like this so i've gone ahead to attach the belt hole so it's time to fix the gathers around the shoulder so this is where the shoulder measurement the round shoulder measurement will come in so the round shoulder measurement of this child is 36 inches so I'll just, I'll just go ahead and cut a very long fabric so i'll be using 36 inches times two so whatever the round shoulder measurement is just times it by two or you can even times it by three depending on how full you want the gathers to be around the shoulders so this is 36 inches times two so this is about 72 inches and the weight i have for this is seven inches so this is 72 inches by seven inches so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring the two ends together right side facing the right side i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and close up this open end so after closing up this end you should have your long fabric looking like this so I'll just go ahead and get the center of this. So while it's still unfold, I'll just get the center of this and I'm going to notch. So after notching, I'm just going to place this on the center of the chest of this jumpsuit. And I'm going to pin the back too, just like this. So after pin, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew this not up to half an inch. I'm just going to sew very little on the front and the back. So after attaching this to the shoulders, I'm going to take this back to my sewing machine. I'm going to fold in just a little and I'm going to fold again. And after folding, I'm going to sew this round. I'm going to sew this round just the way I folded it that we sewing round and when i get to this point i'm going to leave an opening of about one inch for passing in my elastic so i've gone ahead to fold this in leaving about one inch opening where i can pass in my elastic so it's time to pass in the elastic so to know the amount of elastic to cut just measure the round chest so her round chest her chest circumference is 27 inches so i'm going to measure 27 inches on my elastic and i'll be adding two inches for tying my elastic so i'm just going to cut this out i'll be using my safety pin to pass in my elastic So after passing in the elastic through the channel I created for it, so I'll go ahead and remeasure this, you know, I said I'm using the chest measurement to cut out my elastic. So when this is not stretched, I'm supposed to have 27 inches here, which is my chest measurement. So I'm going to measure this again to make sure I have my... 27 inches so you can see this is 27 inches so i'll go ahead and tie this so make sure you secure this very tight so after fixing the elastic I'll go ahead and close up this part I left open to pass in the elastic. So after fixing the elastic and closing up properly, just go ahead and create the belt for this jumpsuit. So 
so this is basically all for this jumpsuit please let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and please do not forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more fashion diys thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye